Okay, now we're ready to cut. We've got our straight edge in place and we're going to use a circular saw to cut down into the tread. Now, what you're going to notice is, is that the saw is not going to be able to cut all the way to the end here, nor is it going to be able to use, do the same thing over here. So that means we've got to actually plunge down into the wood by starting up top and coming in. Um, you don't want to, you, you could freehand it if you want to, but I like to do it this way. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to hold the saw free from being locked down. Notice how my base is moving here. And I'm going to stay up on top of the wood. I'm going to grab a hold of the saw in a good solid position and I'm going to fire it up and then ease down into the cut. Okay? When I get through the nosing, then we'll lock it down. Okay, we have cut back all the nosings on the tread and now we have to finish the cut up to the stringers on both sides. Now there's a number of ways of doing this. Some guys will just take a hammer and wrap on the nosing and it'll break at these points and then they'll take a chisel and clean up the corner. I don't really buy into that kind of concept. I, I would much prefer to have a cleaner cut with a reciprocating saw of sorts. Um, there's a number of saws you can use to do this. Um, I would draw your attention to the area right here. There's a chance when you cut across in this area here that there might be a nail. So just be on the lookout for that as you're cutting. That's where the reciprocating saw works out really well because it'll cut the nail in the wood and cut it flush here. Um, we got to cut it this direction and this direction to free up this board here on both sides of the treads.